Hello, Channel Right here. Today I'm going to be looking at the configuration panel for the JF17. It's a new feature that was brought out in the Open Beta 2.8 in November. So basically, all I'm going to do, uh, first of all, I'm just going to contact the ground crew to rearm and refuel. So on board today, I'm just going to put to stabilize the aircraft a couple of the IR missiles, which are the PL-5Es. Later, I'll be testing out the new LS-6-100 bomb. It's not particularly a glide bomb. It is a J-style type of bomb. So I'm going to put those on and also a WMD7 port, which is like the T port. So once I'm happy with that, I will ask the ground crew to commence rearming. Request rearming. Copy. Complete. So once rearming is complete, then you can go to the menu and go to ground crew again, and then open the configuration panel. Previously, this wasn't working because if you had any wind in your mission, it just would not open. So you can change the laser codes on this to your desired code. My chosen code here is 1775. I just do this for all stations just to make sure it works. On here on the configuration panel also, you'll notice there's an option to remove the inlet cover and ladder. This is important because this, ma this option is not available no longer in the menu. You have to come to the configuration panel to ask the ground crew to remove those, the cover and ladder, if you're uh, starting your aircraft manually. Roger, stand by. So you'll get a note saying that they're configuring the laser code. Laser code ready. And you'll get confirmation that the laser code is ready. Now when you start your JF-17, when you input the data cartridge that laser code will be updated. It's just a quick, simple way of updating the data. And that's it for the configuration panel. Thank you, and uh, I've been Channel Right. Please like and subscribe. I'm a dot.